All right, so this is a follow-up to my uh, inverter install. Um, I got the question asked, you know, what does it take to be able to run all of my outlets in the camper off of my inverter? Um, it's a pretty good question. Uh, what I had actually already done is installed um, some outlets in my RV that ran specifically off of the inverter, but what happens if you want to run all of your appliances or all of your outlets off of the inverter. Well, we're gonna dig into that today. Uh, there's a few steps that you have to take to do this, but it's not a very complicated task. So let's just jump right in. All right, so the first thing you need to do to be able to accomplish this task is to shut off the battery charger um, in your RV. Now, the reason you need to do this is because if you plug your RV into your inverter, it's just going to constantly be trying to charge the battery that you're drawing the power from and it creates a loop if you will so on my particular rv i don't necessarily have a breaker or a fuse or anything like that that i can remove in order to turn off the charger itself um, i thought that i could just shut off the converter but whenever i did that it shut off everything and running my um, RV off of the inverter didn't produce any results basically none of the outlets worked nothing um, so I came up with an alternate solution and I'll show you that here in just a moment all right so what I've done is I've installed an isolator switch on my RV so I can isolate the battery from the rest of the RV um, this makes it so that the converter can't try to put a charge into the battery um, basically it's just a dead dead stop. Um, so I'll demonstrate this right now. I've got a kilowatt meter hooked up here that's showing that it's currently pulling uh, 21.2 watts. Uh, the battery's already pretty much charged so uh, it's not going to draw much. If I go ahead and I flip this to the off position, now my kilowatt meter is only showing that I'm pulling 15 uh, watts. Now this is pretty much as low as I can get. Um, I still have the microwave plugged in, so it's drawing power there. Uh, the uh, you know, CO2 detector and everything else is still hooked up, so that's pretty much as little watts as I can possibly utilize with my camper. All right, so now all we have to do is if we want to run the rest of the coach off of the inverter is I've got my this extension cord here hooked up to my line that runs into the camper. So I'm just going to take this, unplug it from shore power, and plug it straight into my inverter. Alright, so now we're hooked up to the inverter. And, you know, if I was camping or I was using this long term, I would just run it through the bottom here, through my hole that I already have, or just leave it dangling through the uh, through the door here so let's go try a few items and see if it works all right so I see the TV is already here with the red light so that's a good sign let's try powering it on I would looks like it works perfect Anything that's going on from here to here. Looks like the microwave also works. I'm not going to run it because I don't want to run my uh, battery down, but looks like everything's working for the most part. Everything that's plugged into a house outlet here. So there you have it. Um, it's not too difficult to run your RV, all your outlets off of your inverter. It's actually quite simple. Um, especially if you've got a breaker that you can flip over to turn off the the uh, charger. Um, if you don't, then you'll have to run something similar to what I have, or just accept the fact that you are going to drain your battery, you know, much quicker than everybody else because you are in that you know loop cycle with your charger. If you have any other questions about this inverter, um, feel free to reach out to me. Um, and we'll be talking to you next time.